Hello, I'm Ben, and I'm here with the team from the House of Verse. How are we doing, everybody? Hello, hello. Just hello. wonderful. Hello. Cheers, Just wonderful. I like that. I like that. Yeah. So I have, first of all, I've got James, I have Jenny, and I have Raj here from House of Verse. So first of all, tell me a little bit about House of Verse. Um, House of Verse is an eclectic community okay. of creative people, uh, and we gather currently monthly and share all of our diverse uh, skills and talents as a big variety show. So it's visual arts, performance arts, media, everything. Okay. okay. Basically a big cabaret kind of variety show thing. I really, like really that. cool. I like really that. That nice. sounds, sounds very exciting. Yeah. So you're, you're happy to be here at Handmade Festival. Very excited. And we've cool. got a ridiculous amount of amazing people yeah, on tonight. Big, big line. Yeah, 20, 20 acts altogether. That's, that's so crazy. And big. you started the the House of Verse. You I are did the, indeed. That's, that's, a, that's very... I mean, what got you in, What got you involved? What you started with that? Um, it actually started as an interactive installation collection of like four. Do you remember that, James? That's how oh, I yeah. met you. Those were the days. Um, those were the days. And that was yeah. Oh, <laughs> we've been on a downward, downward <laughs> incline, uh, decline. Well. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, it started. It started off as four kind of. Um, I was trying to basically make poetry more accessible to people, rather than just reading off a page. Actually, be immersed in it and have, you know, have to do different activities or be, you know, physical in the reception. Um, and then I quickly realised that people like live acts and live performance. Um, so it very, very quickly developed into a bit of a variety show in the beginning. It was kind of like maybe about three genres. And then like more and more, pe I was meeting more and more people. And now, I mean, there are so many like, so many, it's so many different genres of, yeah, of things yeah. going on. I mean, we've, it's we've rich, been, Leicester's so rich. It, it is, it's a very rich and culturally diverse type of thing. And that's why uh, the Handmade Festival is quite nice for stuff exactly. like that. I mean, say, um, we've got James here who, you play the drums. So you're yeah. you're part of the handmade festival. Are you excited for this year's handmade festival? Uh, yeah, it's, it all looks absolutely lovely, and some of the artists that have played this year and uh, the past previous years have been amazing. So it's quite nice to just be uh, featured as part of the same festival as some wonderful. Yeah, acts. definitely, definitely. And the and and. Um, very often it's nice for you to be able to see all these other artists and kind of learn and, and develop experiences. Have you had quite a nice experience getting to know quite a lot of these different artists and things like that? Yeah, yeah. Uh, even with the with the performance um, that we're doing today, quite a lot of them are, are part of the uh, House of Verse Collective anyway. So we're going to see Dave Flower after this, um, which is our, our, our friend Dave's band. Um, they're going to be great. And yeah, it's really nice to interact with other people who are like-minded, I guess. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah, and, and same question to you, Raj, because you play the guitar. Yeah. So is it, has it been the same experience for you? You've been learning and gathering experiences yeah, from it's, people it's, within it's the collective? Yeah, it's very much uh, like a, a group activity. Mm. Uh, even, even in terms of, because uh, me and James play in the, in the house band, which we, we we're on all night. And it's, yeah. it's like, a, it's like we, do, we do everyone's intros. It's almost like a, yeah. like a talk show band. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, that's, how, that's how I tell people. Terrible talk, talk show <laughs> band. <laughs> so and the no kind of interaction, talking. don't you have like fun kind of... Yeah, and some, sometimes we have to pick intro music and we, we pick it according to someone's name or something. Okay. Or I think we... Like there's, there's a poet we're called kind of zany like we're that. <laughs> 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 the crazy, <laughs> crazy characters. <laughs> Stop uh, it. <laughs> so you don't approach them beforehand and go. So how do you want your sometimes. intro? You do sometimes, Depends. but other times it's sometimes like do you know what? People ask for music, and uh, okay. you know, we, we've done things like we've just kind of uh, gone into uh, like Power Met Rangers and yeah. like <laughs> Metal Jurassic, Jurassic Park. Metal like Jurassic Park. Oh my gosh! Do you remember yeah, when um, there's a dancer called Lewis, and he uh, turned to the band and just said ambient grunge. <laughs> <laughs> and you two just you jammed you just went, it's went yeah, yeah very improvising you know free fall sort of like it's, it's quite funky it's like yeah. it's funk it's yeah, funk it's rock yeah. blues funk that sort of thing that's yeah. amazing that is, that's really really cool and it's nice for you to again to be able to interact with all these people and, and it's nice to watch them develop as you guys kind of go do you know what we're going to support them and, and exactly. you can learn from them as well I think. and everything com complements each other like one of our shows went from electro to hard rock to hip hop to dub. Like okay. then it's, that's you know you kind of sat there going, I don't know how these things connect, but <laughs> no, they do. No, no, and but it they works. do, and it, you know everyone empowers each other, and I think that exposes maybe audiences who, who wouldn't have been, yeah, you know maybe going to go to a show with dub in it, for example, yeah, yeah, and yeah. they're going to be exposed, and maybe they won't like it, but at least they've kind of. Had yeah, an in, had a taste There's for everyone. Yeah, every yeah. Show, oh, yeah. definitely. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I think that, again, it, it comes down to the festival as a whole. It is a collective of, of artists, you know, not just music, but just, just everything. Mm. Um, apart from the House of Verse, who are you most excited to see at the, the festival itself? I mean, if you've got somebody within the House of Verse that you are particularly interested in seeing, um, but outside of that... 
I really Ooh. wanted to see Three Trap Tigers, yeah, but I'm unfortunately going to yeah. miss it because oh, that's, no. that's tomorrow and I have work oh, like a no. regular yeah. boring human. Oh, I might be able yeah. to make that. Yeah. So, oh, no. face uh, drama. Uh, uh, Rad, Raj <laughs> phoned me up and swore at me earlier about that as well, just for no reason. That's not very nice. Like, no, oh, well, I mean, what you, you know, could have done is waited until tomorrow and just just sent him a video. Just yeah, while that's true. He's that, at work, he just like I, might, I might do that as well. <laughs> there you go. I'll just do that as well. I think I'm quite excited about seeing Mark Grist tomorrow. Okay. Um, he's spoken word poet. He's really cool. Mm. I think there are a couple of other spoken word tomorrow. Um, obviously Dayflower because that's yeah, our yeah, friends Dayflower, band yeah, so we yeah, really yeah. want to go Get support them, them. that'll be really cool yeah they're wonderful um, check I out Dayflower yeah camera. do it um, <laughs> <laughs> camera in the middle yeah <laughs> you're a special guy um, there's um, uh, yesterday I went to see 65 Days of Static that oh, was cool good. that was really yeah, cool yeah. wonderful it's like I, I call it something between dark electro and like post rock it was cool. They're just, they're just, a, cool. they're just exciting people, and yeah, they they were pretty good. Oh, I'm glad that you've got people that you're excited about. I don't think it's nice for you to come to the festival and just appreciate that as well as as taking part oh, yeah. and establishing That's that. Yeah. I think we're missing axes though, which is really unfortunate. Mm. I, I saw them a while ago in London, and they were just absolutely crazy good. Mm. But we're on at the same time as them, so God, I might just try and sneak off. And yeah, see what yeah, that's easy. You in, you're in yeah, the house band, ain't nothing. No yeah, yeah. yeah. so I'll they just jump on. Put a sack of flour. I'll cover for you. I'll go and. I'll go and do the job. Play yeah. drums? Uh, no, not at well, all. Well, that's you know fine. Neither can I. This is a perfect combination. You think you were the toilet once, and I had to jump on the drums and play guitar. Match, at the I don't use the toilet. This is an interview. I'm meant to look all <laughs> handsome and great. Yeah, I mean, I've drummers never, never go to the yeah, toilet. I was doing something <laughs> handsome and, and wonderful. <laughs> and, and well, completely poetic. professional. You could just merge together and become a one-man band. Yeah. You could, yeah. yeah. Easy. And then you. How would we merge? Modern science. Yeah. Okay, yeah, no. Yeah, You've modern, sold so, yeah. me. You've Great. sold me. Yeah, definitely, yeah. definitely. Yeah. So being in House of Verse, what is your biggest sort of, um, what's your most exciting or weird experience you've had doing this sort of, this, this gig, I suppose? Oh, goodness. Well, that's a very good yeah, question. That's the, yeah, Should we keep it, keep it PG, keep it clean? I think one of them was, um, again, with Lewis the dancer, he seems to be quite a, yeah, a sporadic a, man. Um, we, were, we did a show in the Guildhall and he decided to run up the big stairs in the, in the Great Hall and start throwing cushions at the audience. And then okay. I, I thought he was going to jump at one point, but luckily right. he didn't. It, it, Do you it, think it, the cushions still, were padding? It wasn't like uh, like a crazy man going uh, going mental. It was actually, we were, we were playing the music along with there him. Was, and okay. It was like, a, like, a, it was like, a, like an art performance yeah. piece. Oh, and wow. he did a we telepathic dance. Yeah. So he basically said he was tuning into the audience and, and he was like picking up signals of where <laughs> he should go next. That, so that was really funny. I quite liked uh, Dan, I think at the last one at the music cafe, he played the jumper. For a while, and oh, then he yeah. invited a, a an audience That's member to, to try and play the jump. He threw some trousers <laughs> in there as well, yeah. but um, it, yeah, he, okay. he, an audience member played the jumper and did in. terrible job. Oh, terrible, terrible job. That you know, jump Dan's, is ruined now. Yeah, no, you know, at his show, someone yeah, ripped it's, 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 it. It's, That's really exciting. Oh, that's really so you sense that you've had some really nice experience. So it's been really a rewarding experience doing. I remember one time when I was um, trying to introduce the next act and there were like three people, possibly like either Polish or Lithuanian or something, right in front of me, like literally in my face. And I was trying to host. They were standing up. Everyone else was sitting down. <laughs> they were just standing up <laughs> in my face, really quite drunk. And I was just like, not quite sure I'm going to have to deal with these guys. Like, I can't just carry on the show. So <laughs> I got them involved and tried to make them do like a shepherd and dancer dance off thing. Oh, yeah, that was really that weird. Was really bizarre. That, and that wasn't went on it? for quite a while. Yeah, I was. Well. It was like they were just so up for it, and then eventually yeah, I had I to like. I remember that last thing like that. three days. Yeah, I know. We were all exhausted. None yeah, of us had I've eaten. Never seen shepherding so good. Funny they brought the sheep. Once yeah, we so. got the audience to clear up all the, the, the cushions, we were like, now it's time yes. to party. Terrible now it's like, guys, let's go. Let's do it. And we were like doing like countdown music. It was do 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 do. So what we're saying is, if you want a really weird experience here at the Hamlet Festival, oh yeah yeah yeah, it's the music and poetry and smoking word and everything, but it's got a little. There are flecks of bizarre. Uh, bizarre, I think yeah. we'll need a bit of flex of bizarre every so often. Yeah, yeah. bizarre flex. Should, should we flex some bizarre right flex, now? flex the other bizarre. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm not sure oh, Benny. Okay. Okay. Everybody flex. Oh, yeah. Flex. That, you're, you're flexing. Flex flex flex. Flex. Oh, yeah. <laughs> flex down the bizarre. Oh, I mean, I definitely can't do that. That was very flexible. But okay, so, well, thank you very much for joining me today on, no I was going to say the couch. This quite clearly isn't a couch. Here definitely in no couch here in the demon media room. And um, When can we catch you at the Handmade Festival today? So tonight at 7pm on the dot, we will be the dot. Going on. Yeah. Excellent. Well, thank you very much, guys. Oh, no, thank you to you and to all these wonderful people who are here yes. being all well, the audio chickens. Lovely. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, you're, you're thank all you. It's a great fun. job. <laughs> Keep on being wonderful.